Welcome to the Jersey Boys. Joey DeRash. Ronnie Bidet. That's it, by the way. That's, right away. That, no, 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 no. That's exactly what it is. Forget about Ronnie A. Right away. Everybody, I think it's like 38 episodes we've done. And I can tell you right now, forget about all of the 37 prior to this where you were called but you've Ronnie been talking, A. We've been talking about Bidet no, for no, like no, no, five no. of them. I know that. So. But forget about that right now. From this point on, yep. you will always be known as Ronnie Bidet. Well, I'm, not I'm proud day, of you. Right. Bidet, right. because I finally got it right now. It's not Bidet. No, oh, it is Bidet. Bidet. But you get it at the bodega. bodega. You can buy it at the bodega. A bidet at the bodega. Whatever he says, you don't listen. It's that simple, right? <laughs> it is that simple. That's right. Good. Okay. But that's what it is. So, Ronnie Bidet. So we're happy they now know, right? That we okay. got it officially out there. Yeah. We, listen, we could talk about this forever and ever and ever, yeah. right? Yeah. Do you use a bidet? Have you ever used a bidet? If not, watch the other episodes. You know what I think we should do, right? We should Rewind. live display. <laughs> live display. Right? What, you're going to you, go upstairs and go on a bidet? You. You've never done it before. Not, this, I think they want to know, what, what's that like? I said it in the past. Joey's always again. saying he's Portuguese. There's he's European. Nothing, there's no, I mean, but there's nothing flushing up my butt. All right. There's, there's no, well, like, water fountain. He is not or, welcome in Portugal. A hose. Joey the Roman is not welcome in Rome. Okay? I'm what, not, about, what, what about then? I'm what about not welcome when we're in Rome? What about when we're in Rome? As they say, when Do in Rome. It. When you're in Rome, but... I guarantee you that nobody in Rome is have constantly having their butt with I a bidet. I guarantee they all got them. All of them. <laughs> you see, remember Crocodile Dundee? I do. Famous, famous do. part of it, right? Yeah, yeah. He figured it out. He figured it out. See? With it's everywhere. Knife. With the big knife. You're welcome. Okay. You're welcome. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, which was I'm so sorry. important, right? I'm sorry. What's coming up? What's coming up? Thanksgiving. Big week. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's coming up. You know... Pretty much everything. You're a, you're a history buff. I do. You know a lot of stuff. Well, not everything. Not a lot. I give you a lot of a credit. Few things. You don't know much about the days, but <laughs> let's let's stick to Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah, okay. When did Thanksgiving begin? Sixteen something. Sixteen sixty four. This is why I'm telling you, we did not talk about this before. We did not. Right. Okay. You're close. It's not it, but the sixteen is right. In the sixteen so hundreds. Like you blow my mind because I, w- I wouldn't like, have guessed that. It was like in the sixteen hundreds. Sixteen twenty one. And I think there's like a long like delay for the longest time, and then in the United States, it has something to do with Jersey. New Jersey has well, it's the to pilgrims. Do with, yeah, but so fast colonies. forward though. But fast forward now to the United States, and you have some congressman or something like that in the United States from New Jersey that kind of really helped bring it to the surface. Everything again, everything's from New Jersey, right? So, right? Why wouldn't it be? A- absolutely, right? it's that simple. Yeah. So. so this week, Thanksgiving. Right, yeah. we got we got a ton to be thankful for. Now everybody does Thanksgiving a little bit differently, right? Just yeah. just like Christmas, I'm sure we're going to end up talking about that as mm-hmm. well. Yeah, but it's Jersey, so you know, as a kid growing up, what was Thanksgiving like in the Silver House? Well, honestly, it was always going to Pennsylvania, believe it or not, because and that wraps up this episode <laughs> of the Jersey Boys with Thanksgiving. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. No, because my my dad. <laughs> My dad was the team photographer for Clifton High School. Right. And my mom, my mom's sister, my Aunt Doris, lived out in Pennsylvania. They lived in Scranton, Clark Summit, that area where. Okay. Who's that president? Joe Biden. Joe Biden's from, right? Isn't he from Delaware? Delaware. Well, no, he was originally from Scranton. Again, because the guy right? knows. Who else? He was in that? Pennsylvania, and then his father got a job in Delaware, so then they moved to Delaware. But the point that I'm trying to make is that my uncle, he worked for the Pennsylvania Railroad. And he left from Clifton, him and my aunt, and they moved to Clark Summit, Scranton area. So for Thanksgiving, my dad, we go to the football game. My dad would film the game. Usually it's a 1030 in the morning game. Stop right right there. Stop right there. Tell me you don't miss that more than anything. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. High school football on Thanksgiving. The best. Such a shame. The best. Go ahead. Carry on. So my dad... Usually it was my cousin and my my dad and John and I, my brother John, we would go to the game. My mom and Joanne and my grandparents, or my grandmother and grand, my dad's mother, because my grandfathers were both gone by then, they would all go to Pennsylvania. 
And then we, after the game, would meet them in Pennsylvania, and we'd eat like around 6 o'clock that night. That's what we wow. did. And then we'd stay overnight, and then the next day, Friday or sometimes Saturday, we'd come home. That's what we did. That's how it was. But then, fast forward, when I got married— Hold on. I want you to stay in Pennsylvania yeah. for one second. You said you ate at 6 o'clock. Was that because that's when you guys got there, or was everybody else there— and were they eating, or did everybody wait no, and you waited. ate at 6? No, they waited. It was like probably a little bit earlier than that, but the game okay. was at, what, 10? By the time we, we got on the road, it was 1 o'clock, 1.30. Yep. So you figure it's two hours to get there, so 3.30. So 4, 4.30, 5 o'clock, we started Okay, eating. all right, cool. Maybe 6, I don't remember now. All right. And then from that point on, after, you know, when I was in my 20s to get married, yep. we would go down to uh, Virginia. Exactly. Yeah. Now, was it different in Virginia than it was in PA, or was it similar? Well, listen, there's a silver Thanksgiving and then there's a Thanksgiving. You know, right. it was like, yeah, it was, it, it was it's That's different. what I'm saying, good, right? but just different, just different. All just right, different. so what was the silver Thanksgiving like in PA? Like, what was the spread like? What were you guys eating? Pigeon. <laughs> Caught that I'm morning. Like nah. Turkey. Turkey, ham, uh, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, the... The stuff that goes inside the turkey. Stuffing. The stuffing, but the, the special kind. What is it? The, what? What? The little there, sausage? Yeah. Sausage in there. There was everything. Um, I don't know. Uh, I never would eat it, but they would have had, always cranberry have the, the cranberry <laughs> sauce, <laughs> apple sauce, um, gravy. This time the brown gravy. That's though. brown. That's okay. <laughs> We're okay the with that. brown gravy goes on the turkey. Yeah. yeah. Corn? Corn. Um, string beans? String beans. Uh, a casserole of some sort. Right, uh, right. All I can tell you is the table was loaded. Yeah. It was like the hugest table, a ton of food, um, and that's just the dinner. Then you'd obviously have your desserts. Was it crazy? Pumpkin pie, apple pie, blueberry pie, cherry pie, custard, all that stuff. Awesome. Yeah. How awesome. about you? Similar? With an Italian twist, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, you. What'd you have? Well, antipast. Yeah. So you opened yeah. up. You had, you had everything under the sun. Right? Yeah. It was. You, everybody would have, you know, shrimp cocktail, maybe some oysters. I forgot clams. the shrimp. I forgot the seafood. You did part that too. We had the shrimp. We'd have some clams. Sometimes the um, uh, baked clams. Oregano, yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 So we would always, we would always do that. Yeah. Um, Cause my uncle loved that stuff. My uncle Ed. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. Right. And then we would have your regular cold uh, antipasto, you know, the you know, pepperoni, prosciutto, ba ba ba, all the different cheeses yeah. and olives, and maybe a hummus. See, now he's reminding me. Yeah, we had the cheese, crackers, um, and then my uncle would go smoke a stogie. Ah, uh, <laughs> nothing like it. Where are the stogies, like by the way? We should be smoking a stogie on this set. Right? Now the difference with us too is there would always be maybe two different types of pasta. We would have yeah. meatballs. Yeah. Like that would always be part yeah. of it with the turkey, yeah. with the ham, with the stuffing and everything Absolutely. like that. Yeah. So, and Good then stuff. the dessert was always key. And then for us, like growing up as a little kid with Thanksgiving, you would do the dessert and then everyone would chill. Yeah. And this is back in the day when everybody smoked cigarettes, right? Yeah. So as a little kid that the houses were just filled with smoke. And I remember clear as day, the table, like, you know, the room filled with smoke, couldn't even see each other. Yeah. Right? And the table was covered yeah. with little, uh, like, tangerines, yep. clementines, all, a, an array of nu nuts were all over the table, yeah. every kind of nut you could imagine. And then uh, Zambuca, Frangelico, all, all that. Yeah. And it was, you know, and then the coffee. And we didn't have the cigarettes. That was definitely something we didn't have because my dad, asthmatic, my sister, asthmatic. So my uncle would go out and smoke a stogie. Outside, right? Not inside. So yeah. I don't remember ever having smoke around us because Ugh. in my home, because of my dad's you know health condition with his asthma, my sister's health condition, there was never any smoke. Yeah, in the house. I so, wish. Yeah, I wish. I think I got burnt as a baby. I think the doctors used to smoke when they were <laughs> delivering kids. Got right? ashes. That's just what it was. Ashes pouring down your yeah. face. Yeah, yeah. I, I blame my mother. I think that's. Yeah. I think that's why I'm five nothing. Right. I think she smoked too much when she was pregnant with me. <laughs> it's possible. That's right. Okay, though. My brother's seven foot. <laughs> kidding kidding but right? anyway, we always say five six but you live like you're six five that's it baby that's it live life like you're six five so. joe's sitting i'm standing right now you can't tell can you <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's funny. all right so then what about this year where are you going uh this year we're gonna be home we're gonna be local we're gonna be in jersey uh probably go between 
Joanne and Les, my, my brother and sister, uh, my brother in law, my sister, Joanne, and then John and Michelle. Okay, so you're my local. My John and my sister in law, Michelle. N- now, is that spread the same? Did it change any? I, change as far as what? Uh, like, whether, is it more? Is it less? Did the food no, change? No, a ton of food. Always same. a ton of food. Okay. Always a ton of food. I mean, food, as you know, in, in my house has always been, we've always had big parties. We don't ever, we go big. You do. When it comes to parties. A lot of food. A lot of and food. And food's everything, right? Yeah. No, it's always... Sometimes, honestly, it's too much. It really is because... No question. It's like... And then... You've been spoiled. You go to other people's homes and it's like, well, where's the food? Where's... The, oh, that's it? You know, because oh. you get so used to having so much. And, you know, we, we always appreciate it. It's like we, we didn't waste food. But um, there was always so much food. Always so much food um, to the point to where it's like a, you know... If something's missing, it's like, what, 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 what could possibly be missing? Yeah. You know, what is it? The cranberry sauce, maybe? I don't know. You wear sweatpants on Thanksgiving? Oh, yeah. You have yeah, to. you, have you to. see? There's your tip. The Jersey Boy's giving you That's a right. tip. You got to have no buttons, on that. no Just belts. Lay down, take a little nap. Elastic. Yep. The right? Now, they are. Now, get your now merch. I'm going to get in trouble for this one, though. All right? Uh-oh. I'm going to get in trouble for this one. Because, oh, this is exciting. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> you get done eating. I, you go lay down on the couch. You take a nap. The women are cleaning up. Oh, now. no. <laughs> I didn't say it. I'm just being honest with I you. Didn't it was always say how it. it was. You know, we would just go watch football and take a nap. Sorry, so you're right. That is how it was. Is it like that today? For me? Yes. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's go to, go to a commercial now, break. Now I, I lost all of my. Fans, huh? Yeah. My three fans. So you're gone? My- he he knows. So I, I actually I, I love being in I the know. kitchen. I, I, I know. love this being guy, a part of that. I like it. It's like right? here, like here, here, I'm drinking this glass, right? If I'm done, before I could even let set it down, he's taking it out of my hand. He's already cleaning it and it's put back. You know, and it's ready for the next customer. Ready to go. You know? That's ready it. to go. You I know? like to keep it clean. Yeah, just right? like he does his butt. Egg C. It's there's <laughs> right a theme back here. The there's a theme here. You know? <laughs> but clean listen, dishes, I enjoy it. Clean glasses and a clean can. That's it. Okay. Now, back in the day when I had the deli, yeah. no chance. No chance. Yeah. I I would eat and done. I wouldn't see Lori until the next day. Yeah, no. I, mean, I was out. She couldn't even wake me up if she tried. Yeah, yeah. Bang yeah. me over the head it's with a, lot, a, lot a of mallet. Yeah, it's tired. You're yeah. Tired. I think that's why I don't go right to the couch, you know, even with the games on and everything, because, like, you just got yeah. done eating. You're going to yeah. go to sleep, you know? Because your, 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 your insulin levels have been jacked up. Sure. And that's what causes you to fall asleep. And they also say, what do they say about the turkey? The turkey. They, they put something in. What's in the turkey that makes you fall asleep? Melatonin. Yeah, something. We stuff ours with melatonin. <laughs> that's what they say the guys in, in jail. They give them a lot of that, a lot of turkey. In jail because it makes them drowsy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's true. Stop the fights. Stop the fights. Interesting. To some degree. To Interesting. Some degree. So you talked about a lot. So this year we're doing it. We're splitting it. We're going by my cousin Julie and Wayne and then by uh, Lori's sister Dana. Yeah. Right? So I think we're doing like dinner and then dessert. Yeah. So at Julie's house, her brother-in-law from New York comes and his thing every year is he makes the homemade like little biscuits. Oh yeah, <laughs> forgot about that too. You can't even the you bread. can't imagine the bread, right? Yeah. This bread, knock your socks off. Yeah. You don't need anything else. You just you just you just keep yeah. eating the bread. Yeah. It's well, fresh out of the that's oven. That's my biggest downfall, mm. honestly. I love bread. Yeah. I just love it, and it's just like you, you probably get good good bread when you were down in Virginia, right? Bread was probably awesome <laughs> down there. <laughs> no, sorry, no. Virginia. It was Sorry. just like Wonder Bread, and that was about it. You can't but, get good bread anywhere else no, besides no. here, to be honest, no. right? Jersey, New York, honestly, it's it's the best when it comes to the bread. It is, yeah. So it but, is, man. Um, I do want to say something. I've been thinking about this for a while. Does it have anything to do with a bidet? No. All right, but go, it has go. something to do with going out to get your food for Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. Those of you from Jersey and New York can appreciate this. Now, growing up. Until about what? Maybe 10 years ago. You would go to the grocery store, buy your groceries, and they would say, would you like paper or plastic? Mm. Right? Sometimes they would take the paper bag, and then they would put the plastic bag on the outside. So you got two for the price of one. Right? You got your paper and you got your plastic. Then when the whole pandemic came along, now we have no more plastic bags, but we have no paper bags either. 
they're all. Do you see how they're coming back? The paper, like at Home Depot and Lowe's. They have paper yeah, bags but I, again. I'm talking about the grocery store. I'm not talking I about know. going to buy lawn care stuff. I'm talking about groceries. Okay? This is Thanksgiving. Are you used to it yet? Or no? No, because yeah. it, it, it just bothers me. So here, the other day, right, I go and I bought some um, almond milk. Mm-hmm. And guess what that almond milk was in? A plastic bottle. Right. Then I bought some yogurt. Guess what that yogurt was in? Plastic bottle. Right. I'm quick. Right. Yeah. I, I bought several things that were in plastic. So I have like What's 10 inevitable? Things. I have 10 things. But they can't give me a little plastic bag. Yeah, but so there's to carry out and why? my plastic items. And why though? Because it's not about plastic. They want to make themselves feel good like they're doing something. It's like the guy who goes to McDonald's. You go to McDonald's, you get a Big Mac. Large French fries. Diet Coke. And a Diet Coke. I'm watching a what Diet I'm A Diet Coke. Yeah. So it's like so foolish. Like, just get the regular Coke. Why are you going to get a Diet Coke? So if I'm going to go to the grocery store, get myself all ready for it. But this, why did they do it? And not that I'm in favor of it, but why? trying to save the planet. Why? Because they're trying it's to also, go green. But it's the animals, too. That was a big push. That they, that they uh, Like the birds, the seagulls right. and all well, that. They the were straws. like choking and that's, dying that's, on it. But that's the straws, too. The straws, right? So you now go... The, now that you have a paper straw, Lori loves paper straws. Loves Does them. she? <laughs> I bet. Yeah. The problem with the paper straws, as we all know, it's like two sips and, you know, it's all soggy. Yeah, it's and it's garbage. like, you know, they might as well give you five paper straws because the first one is gone in five seconds. But yet again, you're buying it in a plastic container. So what's your name? Joe. Two minutes later, uh, whatever the drink is. Joe. Joe. And I get my drink. In a plastic container for six bucks with my paper straw. How foolish is that? So you're not thankful for plastic? No, I'm not. And no, it, 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 it's a pet peeve of mine when it comes to <laughs> going to the grocery store. Listen, if Home Depot is giving paper bags, that's fine. So the grocery store, give me a paper bag. Give me a paper bag. If you're not going to give me plastic, I will you know, bow down and say, fine. No plastic bags. I'm helping our world. I'm helping, you know, the animals, whatever. Right on. But you know you can still buy these bags, too. That's the crazy thing. There's, there's, you just go to Amazon and you buy a box of a 1000 Yeah, but the thing is, too, you can go to the grocery store and you can buy a plastic bag that says stop and shop or shop right or whatever on it. So it's still plastic, though. Are they? Yes. Well, I thought they're, it was like a nylon or something. No, they're not nylon. No? Not the ones that I... I mean, maybe they're made of some type of, I don't know... Recyclable, right. whatever. But I was like you. I was all angry about it, and I think I'm now. I'm just whatever. I'm kind of used to it. I got I keep really the bags good at. In the I got. Trunk. I put like you know something here, something in my back pocket. <laughs> I'm like a shoplifter. <laughs> to be honest with you, I go around. I'm I'm actually going around the aisles, and I'm putting stuff in my pocket. And I walk out of the store sometime. I'm like I shoplifted. Don't you have now. a cart? No, because I don't need one. Okay, fine. Why don't you have a cart? Because I got five items. When you get the little thing, the I know, but one. I don't need it because that's made of plastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help. Bump, bump. That was good. That was like that an was good. Costello thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on first? I love it. I love it. Who's on first? All right. So we have a lot of things to be to be grateful for. A lot of yeah. things to be thankful for. Um, one one of them is is not plastic bags, right? Yeah. So that's it. We'll I'm move good. we'll move I'm on good. from there. We'll I'm give good. her thanks. You okay I'm now? With that, yes. Okay. I have a therapy session tomorrow. <laughs> That's it. And we're done. <laughs> Talking about plastic. So here's the deal. So, you know, bringing this bad boy in for a landing, right? We'll see everybody again in next week. We'll find out exactly how their Thanksgiving was because yeah. I want to hear about it, specifically our Jersey crew. You know, I want to know, what did, you, what did you eat? What was the best part of your Thanksgiving? Was, yours, was it big? Was it small? What about the people who go out, by the way? Yeah, let's bring this right back again. Who goes out for Thanksgiving? I did What are you doing? Time. Yeah. One time. And the only reason why is because Holly was at Disney. And it was her last day oh, so working you went down at there. Disney. So we had to have our Thanksgiving meal. It was the first time in my entire life that we had Thanksgiving outside of someone's home. At Disney or? Disney Springs. It was at. What'd you have? Would you go to House of Earl? No, it was. What's the other Earl one? Earl of Sandwich. The, the, the I- Irish place that's there. Mc, Mc, <laughs> McClawson's or something like that. It was actually really good. They had an American Thanksgiving. It was really, really good. Nice. But that was Holly's last day mm-hmm. working at Disney. The next day we left to travel home. So we had to have Thanksgiving. Thanks, there. Holly. That was the, uh, the last time. But 
Thanks for not allowing your family to have Thanksgiving yeah, at home. That's right. It was a sacrifice. Tip the iceberg. It was a sacrifice, just like the pilgrims. <laughs> we had to sacrifice. 1621 all over again. <laughs> there it is. Plymouth. All right. Plymouth. So that's it. That wraps up this episode, right? That's it. Lots, lots to go over. We're going to see you guys next week. We can't wait to talk about what your Thanksgiving was. Not only was. the food, but the fights that occur on Thanksgiving. Pla- at, where? In the house? <laughs> in on the, the house. field? Brothers yeah. and sisters fighting with Let's each other. Let's film it. Let's film it. Stop we'll watching them. TV. I don't want to watch a football <clears throat> game. Put on Days of Our Lives. Date. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Not dating ourselves at all. Put on Days of Our Lives on Thanksgiving. Put on General what Hospital. Planet I don't are you know, on? <laughs> no, I'm watching the game. I'm watching. I'm the- bringing this in for a landing. I'm Ronnie A. <laughs> Rash route.